Hello and welcome. This is CCFN seventy one. Uh, I am Gek, and uh, right now we're on uh, server number two, playing on Kohat Salt and Secure version one, and it is the Russians versus the U.S. team, and they're just spawning in now. I'm casting from the U.S. side. Just gonna make a squad so we can hear their communications. All right, good luck, boys. Let's do it. All right, and uh, sort of uh, the map ordering is following these lines right here. And uh, generally, the fighting is over Malakabad, unless this is going to be slightly unbalanced, but we do not know yet. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a nice and even match. Now, let's see. Uh, we have Op4, Hasaria, Indies, and Fighting Honey Badgers with guests on the US side and then we have uh, Mumblerines, Asterisk and 303rd as well as uh, well mostly EUK with guests Bivar Nibbler is here as well on the Russian side and it's uh, going to be interesting obviously I think they're gonna switch uh, I heard some stuff about them playing the same sides twice but I don't think that's true um, so we're just gonna have to see Russians now pushing up as well three vehicles and they are coming up on um, oh I want to want to remember this Tosarai they're actually pushing out with an with a 30 millimeter MTLB First off, one guy committing suicide right away. It's a lot of stuff happening, but a couple guys here on the first flag. Uh, let's just quickly look at what the U.S. side are doing. I'm assuming they're rushing down. There they are in the distance. A couple of vehicles yeah, rushing down it, towards... Yeah, they're heading down towards Malakabad, the contested flag in the middle here. It's basically the the map uh, fulcrum, I'd like to say. It's it's the the point of contention because you have two flags here, and oh, actually no, it is the U.S. So there is no fulcrum on this map. Basically, the U.S. need to hold these three flags right here, and the Russians need to hold these three, and then they should be equal on uh, ticket bleed in terms of uh, there they both be bleeding uh, one ticket per uh, minute holding three flags and the American side now are in and they are holding and I don't think they have uh, any is that Russian really so Russians are actually uh, going to try and get your car here it looks like um, Indies are here though with a good solid troop. They don't appear to really be uh, all that focused though. Looking here, there, and everywhere. A little bit gathered. Uh, but these guys are way out. They're coming in now. And this is standard BTR with a 14.5 millimeter gun. Uh, it should be able to uh, put a dent in all this. There are no 50 cals, no heavy artillery here. Obviously, there's going to be stuff like that happening. Rockets and so on. But nothing he shouldn't be able to handle. And just destroying these trucks. If you could get both of these trucks, you're gonna be you're gonna be in in for big because all these guys would be stranded up here. And they're really evacuating that truck there. Have a quick look. Americans are all over that flag, and they do have Juicer. They have captured Chikar. So Mumblerines here on their rush. Uh, not really doing all that much. Did cap uh, or did get Indies with her pants down though. And this BTR still being up is a bit of a, a hindrance, as well as this uh, FOB that's 20 tickets sitting out here. Uh, let's see, Indies have one, two, three guys up. 
Very successful rush so far. It looks like the Mumblerines are mostly okay, up. Oh, there we go. He goes down. Uh, and that's fine. I'm just going to... Pete wanted to co-cast, so I might get a visitor very, very soon. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but we will figure it out. So let's just get in here. Hopefully this is still recording the game. Uh, uh, let's see. Get. So, I'm sorry for that little uh, itty bitty thing there. Ooh, wow, Indy's actually managing to respawn there. They had a rally out in the in the field, but the problem with them respawning up there is that they are not being helpful up there. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the uh, Russians here. Oh, uncontested on Mod Zai. This looks to be an even game right now. And here we have uh, Pete as well. Hello, uh, Pete. Yo, yo. You are currently being recorded. Uh, welcome uh, to the cast. Uh, let me quickly connect to the server. Yep, that is fine. I need to, uh, I actually need to change so I'm not pushed to talk here. So give me a sec. Alright. Let's see. We just need to change uh, some more settings and then we are good. Uh, this is completely wrong. Uh, no, it's not. Enemy BTR in the river. Let's see, uh, voice, voice activity. There we go. So now Pete should be able to hear me. Enemy he BTR does. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I heard you the entire time. Really? You did? Oh, that's nice. Well, as soon as I joined, I heard you. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine then. Uh, well, you heard me because I, yeah, but I, I switched from push to talk to voice. Yeah, never mind. This doesn't need to be recorded. So right now. Uh, Russians are pushing towards the U.S. side. U.S. side still remaining defensive. Let's just have a quick look at the map. You'll see the U.S. troops over here. Indies now pushing south, but they're going to be delayed, which is going to be good. We have EUK pushing up here on the ridge. They're going to be met by fighting honey badgers, though. And wow, really, really long distance 30 caliber uh, tanks here up on the ridge. That thing's going to be there for a while. It is the 30 caliber MTLB we saw in the beginning of the game with a really nice setup. I don't know how accurate these MTLBs are at, at those kind of ranges, but it's still interesting to see. In the UK now pushing up against that hill. We do have a striker sitting right here, though. It's Swansman. Oh, and he's now taking fire. What the hell is this? Did they sneak a BTR up here? They did. That BTR is going to take him out. There's no doubt about it. The striker is in trouble. Oh, and he's stuck. No, well, yeah. There he goes. So that's, uh, what, uh, 30 tickets for a striker? 25? Which isn't good, and there's a second striker here south of it. And he looks yeah. to be pushing forward. I see. It is Op4's Der Boinger. Alright, I'm still in the process of completely setting up, so I'll be with you shortly. No problem, man. Just take your, uh, take your time. And wow, it looks like Russians really have the advantage here. Again, another striker really in big trouble. It's burning. Looks like it's going to survive though, but just putting it off the field for as long as it takes to go back at this crucial moment is going to be uh, huge, huge news. Wow. 
And this BTR can just run around here completely uncontested. And currently there are three U four US troops alive. Uh, a couple more there. So we have six US troops alive versus uh, at least a squad and a half of Russians with that BTR as well. BTR now taking a hit. But I think he's still fine. He's Oh, he's going to chase down the strike. Let's have a look at this. And the gunner's gone out of it. This is just a sitting duck right now. And this is going to go... And that's going to really hurt the U.S. side in terms of tickets. Another 30 tickets gone. Not to mention the fact that they'll be missing a striker for a solid... I, I think it's 10 minutes. 8 or 10 minutes. So, and right now, Russians are in control of this capture point, and they should be capping. Where is that pesky uh, capture circle? Is it under the ground? It is not. I think this thing, I think this big thing is the capture circle. Yeah, they're not capturing Malakabad yet. I think there's just too many U.S. troops right here sitting on the, uh, on the west side. We have a Saria here, if it's able to, if not, just sitting tight, but Russians are really, yeah, really decent uh, control over the area. There is a uh, Crow Humvee coming up behind him now though, but that shouldn't be too much of trouble. Crows can't really penetrate on this map anymore, so you really just need to hide behind a wall. Uh, let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, Modzai still completely uncontested. Malakabad in big trouble. And uh, no real FOB for the US side here. Now, uh, they now have set up sort of an attacking FOB for Modzai. Uh, and should be able to... Uh, should be able to start engaging that target, but they are basically way behind on offense right now which is never a good sign not to mention that their attack has already been yeah, spotted so and they are far away from target they even have a couple boys down here in the meantime my sorry ass is trying to get the uh, player names and outlines to work etc <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's basically I just push six seven eight nine and then you're done yeah, but I have the uh, European keyboard layout, and it always messes up. Oh. Even switching to international is not working this time. So I'll just be quiet and work on that, and we'll just go ahead. Excellent. That's no problem. Uh, I'm uh, generally fine on my own. Let's see. Russian's still holding here, and uh, it's not neutral. I don't think they're capturing yet. Still a lot of Americans. Well, no, not really. There's uh, maybe one on flag. Oh, they're capping now. It might not show in the video later, but this um, this halo here is flashing, which indicates that it's capping. But uh, they they don't have a very very solid hold. Really, only one squad on uh, on flag here for the Russian side. U.S. side are way off though. And shields is he the lat? He is not. He's just keeping an eye on it. Actually, he is the lat, but I think he's out of rockets. So, yeah, Indy's uh, now trying to uh, strengthen, what is this, this is uh, Swansman. So we have a little bit of a mix here. It's Asaria, uh, uh, Fighting Honey Badgers, and Indy's trying to hold this, uh, but they are struggling right now. Mumbleween's completely uh, dominating this flag. And let's have a quick look at who's down here attacking. So this is the rest of the fighting honey badgers as well as op4 trying to push down and they're really really being held back by just a couple of guys on the hill uh, from Asterix this Jimmy Varikins and Marvin Marvin going down Jimmy still up But 
not for long, but the fact that they're slowing these guys down for as long as they are is really impressive. And now uh, we do have fighting honey badgers actually on flag, and there is a, a have directly on flag, and very few defenders. And I don't think they realize how close the enemy is because they're not looking the right way. And the Russians now bringing up their armor as well. We have asterisks sick driving this 30 millimeter MTLB very very close to enemy infantry now. Fortunately for him, I do not think there are any uh, LATs there. Russians now uh, pretty much lost control of this flag. Only shields left alive here. And uh, to my knowledge, no spawn point nearby. I think they're all the way down here somewhere. They're not running from... Oh, they could be. I'm taking a return inside mod's eye. Need support. Alright, so... Yeah, I think they've actually stabilized on flag here. I'll get to you later. Only, um... Only shield's alive. And he is... Not gonna be capping that flag all by himself. Mortar's now up as well. Hammering. So these are Russian mortars. Firing from... It looks like Mod's Eye interior. Which is bad news. Because there's enemy there. Uh, but nah, they'd be, they'd be silly to have it there. It gotta be, like, it, it's probably over here, isn't it? It's just, uh, if you keep it a Mod's Eye, that's like... That's where the enemy want to be. You don't you don't want your mortars there. And I don't think the US side have set up any mortars yet. But honestly, they should to be able to equalize. I think maybe I was wrong. There's mortars right here. And they are firing. And only one gun, which makes sense. Uh, because of the huge supply lines you've got here, just just to supply this one mortar, uh, if you had two mortars there, they'd be out of ammo pretty much constantly. Russians now once again pushing in, and they do have a. Is that a BTR? Yeah, they do have an active BTR on site. He is uh, nicely surrounded by infantry, though very very safe. Indies on this hill here, looking down. Oh, they built a hab up as well now. U.S. side now have a decent, well, semi-decent. It's not the best hab I've ever seen. Um, a semi-decent spawn point here, especially with this BTR so close. He could easily hold this uh, area, but right now he's getting he's getting hit pretty hard by LATs. Why three empty vehicles on the map? Well, that is a good question. He's uh, both the U.S. side's lodges and a transport just sitting, sitting right here, doing nothing. Ooh, dog's body there, forgetting the uh, range activation on the rocket. Needs to be ten meters away. And they are flipped. So let's just have a quick look and make sure everything is all flipperoony here. Yeah. Yeah, this one's fine, but I'm sure the other two are not as fine. Man, flipping both the lodges, that's pretty bad. Yeah, this one seems well and truly stuck. It could be. Yeah, I don't think the, the front wheels are actually touching the ground. No. No, oh, it should be recoverable. So, let's have a look. The BTR is now set up pretty decently overlooking that hab. You're going to have trouble trying to spawn and get out there. Uh, but that... The BTR is actually quite close and he is getting flanked right now. But that is not... That is not an LAT.
So Malakabad now once again being captured by the Russians. They managed to push in and once again establish control. But for how long with that hab there, it's going to be tricky. We have a solid mix here though. It's a bit of EUK, a bit of Mumblerines. And I saw Dog's body here, so so fighting honey badgers is here as well. And let's see. So they are currently currently capturing Malakabad. There is a lot of US troops though, just north outside the cap zone. If they manage to push in, they're gonna stop that immediately. I'm coming in on southwest on side squad four. And Modzai seems to be holding, but I feel like I feel like Modzai is doing worse now than it was last I checked. There's way more, way more infantry alive and a lot closer as well. And it looks like this MTLB as well has been hit multiple times. He is smoking, and now trying to sit on that repair station. Oh, and hits are coming, or rockets are coming his way, but not hitting so far. Oh, and he's now returning fire, so I don't know. It could go either way, really. It depends. We do have Giddy now coming up really, really close on the north side here. And goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eris. And Eris shows him uh, what's what. And this MTLB still smoking, but he's near that repair station, so it should be fine. Oh, and US side just turned the tides here. They managed to push in and and recaptured from the Russian side. This is actually really, really even. Uh, we we have both sort of defense flags. Uh, getting attacked and both defensive sides rebuffing those attacks so it is actually quite interesting right now I do give the Russians a, a an advantage though we actually I can see both the scores so I can just say yes the Russians do have an advantage of about oh what's this uh, must do math so this is uh, 87 tickets which isn't half bad, especially considering their kill advantages. What? Uh, what's this? 14 kills. So it's mostly it's mostly material. Uh, they've taken out, I know, at least two strikers, maybe three, and plus a couple of trucks. Uh, the fob in the north is still up. So yeah, that's probably yeah, two strikers. That's 70 tickets. So that's pretty much the difference right there. And the U.S. side now, yeah, I think it's pretty much the same thing. We're at a bit of a, a bit of a stalemate. Uh, they're being held at a distance by, I think, a lot of it is asterisks uh, snipers here on the hill. Not to mention, this, oh, this is a GL as well. That's going to be pretty devastating, even at range. That Russian GL does not drop a lot. Very, very easy to aim at uh, at range. Uh, this range might be too hard even for it, though. Ooh, Dog's Body here pushing up close on FOB. And he is taking cover, took out. Asterisk, is it? No, that's 303rd. So that's Bunny on a log. Now going face to face with Asterisk's uh, Nika. And he turned tail. <laughs> that's actually really, really good tactics. Uh, reposition yourself, especially when you're alone. Just reposition often because you are so. So easily flanked when you're alone. You have no one to cover any of your sides. Ooh, wow. And he's just right on it. Yeah, and there he got pretty much surrounded there. But managing to take out two. And push the enemy back slightly. And op for now. Actually, really, really close. I think they're trying to push. 
They're trying to push the the uh, thirty caliber. Um, the thirty caliber uh, vehicle here. Actually, not thirty caliber, thirty millimeter. So there we go. The MTLB. Uh, by the way, how are you doing, uh, Pete? King so I'll just keep my mouth shut and find a solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's no problem. I thought maybe you'd found a solution and just didn't know when to speak because I won't shut up. So I was just making sure that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as I get it working. Ah, no problem. Uh, there's gonna be two rounds, so we're probably here for at least an hour longer. And looking at the scores right yep. now, we are actually reaching a hundred ticket difference here. Uh, Russian ground forces at 400 tickets, and uh, the United States at 307. Russians obviously right, in the going. south side here. I'm just trying to make this even easier to understand for uh, new players. So Russians here on the south side of the map right here, now getting hit pretty hard. And U.S. side on the north side for the time being. You can also tell by the flags if you're at least slightly familiar with international flags. Vexillology, as it is called. So... Right now, U.S. side are saying they are capturing Mod Zai. Which could be absolutely devastating because, I, as far as I know, the Russians don't really have all that many fobs up and running. And right now, 303's Trusking. And Eris going down. Trusky now. Close to being the only surviving Russian. Trusky going down. This 30, uh, 30 millimeter now pushing in close. Desperately trying to support his uh, his uh, troops here. Another rocket being fired at less than 10 meter range, and now abandoning the 30 millimeter. That's 25 tickets just sitting there. But I guess this uh, fob and hab count for way more than that. And uh, U.S. side now having found the FOB on the south side here. Oh, the 30 mil now up and running again. And I think... Oh, wow! They found that Humvee. Oh, it was actually a striker. They found that striker. Modzai now once again stabilized, but I feel like... They completely, yeah, they completely stopped attacking uh, Malakabad. And as a result, sort of got their defense back on a stable basis, but... That's, uh, yeah, that set you back completely in terms of your attack, but I guess uh, that's fine for the Russian side because they are not the ones losing this match right now. Uh, kills are once again even, but the tickets, my god, the tickets. The U.S. side have lost now, at the very least, three strikers, which is a solid hundred tickets. And I feel like the Russians right now winning on material... And material alone. Uh, Russians now, yeah, once again securing Mod's eye. This BTR doing some hill climbing. And we do have, let's see. That's Bash and Mix in the BTR. They're probably racking up the kills. Let's see, Rex, Bash, not really though. <laughs> Not really, though. This is not a target-rich environment, apparently. It's a bit easier for me to see the targets because they're highlighted in blue. But I can assure you it's not like that for the actual players. We will... Let's just turn off all the little helpers here. And you can sort of understand what it's like to play this game without all the help. So here we go. Wonder, oh, that's a bug. That's a neat little bug. I'm just going to uh, note the time so I can report this bug. So we're at 30 minutes. So we're gonna. Oh yeah, that's actually terrifying. Uh, so I'm gonna turn everything back on, but yeah, basically, it's a lot trickier to see players with all this uh, helping stuff. 
turned off because you can't see anyone over here. But there are a couple. They're up and about. And let's just make note of how... Oh, that's Dunic from Hasaria here. Killing a couple of EUK guys. Alright, so let's just get a handle on what's going on again. So Russians are down here, actually still getting hit hard by the US side. Have they, have they dropped any kind of FOB down there other than the... No, they're just assaulting from rally points and right now being pushed out towards uh, sort of their own uh, spawns here. Which is... Ooh, wow! Really, really close mortars. They're trying to take out that MTLB. And that's, that's uh, actually, that's a BTR, so that's 30 tickets just sitting there. And uh, they can't lose a lot of those before suddenly it's, oh, and now that both driver and gunner died, uh, basically when the BTR is on fire, you constantly take damage while inside of it, and they both died, as denoted by the arrow down. And, yeah, so this BTR is just sitting there right now. Fortunately, it is within the repair zone. So it should be fine unless it takes, you know, unless someone farts in its direction. Then it should go down. And the U.S. attack now completely decimated. So no rocket's going to come that way. There could be more mortars, though. We only have op fours. Tricky to read names. Yeah, I can't really see his name. Easy. Let's just check the Don't quickly check the list. Urs. Op four is Urs. Oh, op four now once again spawning in. So we do have a full squad here in attack. But if they keep pushing from the same side right now, Russians are looking that way and they are expecting them. They need to. They need to flank. And they need to do it fancy. But right now they do have asterisk as well on the hillside north here. Just ready to take out anyone who pops their little heads up. And this guy should be should be dying soon. Oh wow, he misses the GL. And then gets killed. But here we go. One down. Oh, two down. Yeah, and these guys are not long for this world. Wow, one survived. Uh, but if uh, the rest of these Russians would push in right now, that would be devastating. Uh, squad 3, is it, is it clear to approach the river to the west? Alright, so now I think Russians uh, yeah, are yeah, setting up like, slightly uh, here. We have west. squad leader 3. That's Synopsy from Indies. Make, pushing uh, up towards this entrenched uh, Russian yeah, force. The they do line. have an FOB yeah, up here. But they're getting sniped pretty hard. Yeah, it's, it's Those US scopes oh, okay. really shine at a distance. As scopes do. Yeah, they're just sitting here. Shooting and that's not even that's not even a scope like that's just a regular enemies on the on the on the that's a red dot right there. This guy has an ACOG, as you can tell by the little red line there and the slightly bigger sights. Which allows him to shoot a lot better at a distance. But, yeah. Right now, really, really stable here. I would now say the US side is at a slight advantage because... Uh, I feel like they're holding slightly better. They don't really have the uh, enemy so free, as free, free, close free, free, free. and in their face. Wow, Synopsy actually pushing up here and doing damage. Did they? Did he find the FOB? Let's have a look. Let's actually try and find this FOB. It should be right here. Right, so Synopsy now should be able to find this FOB. And you should know it's here just because of this 50 cal being built here. Obviously, 50 cows can only be built where there is an FOB. Anything can only be built where there is an FOB. And 
he should be able to hear it soon. Let's see how close he needs to be. Here. He can hear it right here, but he's just walking outside the radius. Yeah, he's just outside the audible radius, like one meter outside, and now he's walking away from it. So that's actually super duper close, and now EUK once again pushing in, possibly trying to defend this... Um, Defend this FOB, maybe save himself some tickets. Ooh, now it's been found though. Radical here, Indy's radical. Managing to find that FOB, starts digging immediately. And now getting cover from his uh, Indy's brothers. Ooh, Zeno goes down. By Synopsy, I think. Synopsy though, in trouble. Bleeds out. Oh, wow. And there goes uh, Bob Ryan. Bobby Ryan. And uh, really only the guy digging the fob alive right now. Where'd that little bugger go? Yeah, didn't get the fob. So he figured... Oh, ho, 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 radical. Gets taken out. Beautiful GL there. Uh, by Bluster Cannon. Saving the FOB. However, the enemy do know where it is. Rusko now, all alone, has his back turned through the enemy though, Bluster Cannon has a huge advantage here, especially considering he has a lot of friends nearby. Alright, so let's pull out of that, US side still super secure on Malak, Russians now super secure on Mod's Eye, I would say slightly less secure just because of this huge US force, it is Hasaria and Ob4. Mostly op for actually. Uh, pulling back towards this FOB here. And they do have enemies close. We have Asterisk here. Ooh, and he's... If he knew what I knew, he would not be shooting there. Because here comes the grenades. A bit short. But it's going to scare the crap out of him. And it did. There's an uh, enemy vehicle moving to our fob on I-10. And he's now bandaging. And they can't hear it. They're, again, just out of audible range. But this guy is not long for this world here. It is. Asterisks. Oh, there he goes. Alicarnos. I'm butchering that name probably. Let's just Al Ali Carnus. Yep. So there you go. The asterisk is a French clan, if I remember correctly. Uh, so that's probably pronounced completely differently and will sound far more sexy uh, in its original pronunciation. But there you go. Division Asterix. Division Asterix. Oh. Uh, no, no, I was about, yeah, yeah. From South South I'm not, uh, I speak a lot of languages, French, not yeah, among them. <laughs> so, right now, really, really aggressive, uh, aggressive uh, attack here by Indies, sort of pushing up, I think it's Indies? Yeah, it is Indies. And... They are pushing up once again, trying to assault this FOB here. And uh, it looks so like again, they do have the advantage there. But yeah, Malak Abad right now is pretty much open. Yeah, just all three of you sit on defense. There are five, six Hasaria members here right now. Uh, but there is a BTR. There are a couple, more than a couple, of Mumblerines. Uh, so. They are in trouble, I think. I don't think um, I don't think these uh, six guys are going to hold for very long as soon as this attack starts. The Indies really need to pull back, but how can they know? So let's have a quick look at the scores before this really piles up. Uh, the ticket difference now closer to 90 tickets. The US side have managed to sort of uh, build back up. They are now at a 20 kill disadvantage it looks like. 
and e what? Yeah, here it's ten. There it's so. There's a lot of team kills happening somewhere. Uh, couldn't tell you though. Haven't been paying enough attention. This BTR now in in position. Let's have a look. He's looking this way. Yeah, can't really see much there. And he's actually pretty exposed. I think he notices, decides to not be there. And Mumblerine's on the south side. And Division Asterisk now on the south side here. Yeah, this attack sort of fizzled out. I don't know what happened to the, the bunch of guys that were on the south side here, Mumblerines. But they're not there anymore. Uh, but they are still managing to clear out. We got Asarius Dunic taking some serious fire. Ooh, actually manages to get a hit on that BTR. That's crucial stuff. Mumblerine's bomb pushing up. Doesn't really, doesn't really get where that enemy was. Looking the wrong way there. But this flag is. Oh wow, the BTR goes down. That's 30 tickets right there, equalizing even more. Now closer to a 50 ticket difference. Excuse me, 60 ticket difference. And mortars coming in. And not close at all. And I think 303rd now coming in as reinforcements towards Malakabad, leaving their flag relatively open with Op4 now pushing in once again on the south side here. Moving, uh, moving, well, a bit slowly, but they, I think they're taking fire the entire way there. We again have Jimmy watching over this field, crucial field. I think he's got the GL. He does have the GL. So it's off for if they show themselves too much and they are quite quite gathered over here. If he if he smells and he should. Oh, this could be devastating. Oh my god, that tree saves three of them. That was super close. Oh my god, two though going down. He's got a perfect position and with his buddies coming in from the rear here. They're going to clear these guys out completely. Oh, no. No, no, no. He got taken. Wow, one-shotted. That's pretty decent. And it was a one-tap as well. Mortars are coming in. I think that's U.S. mortars trying to clear out the area in front of uh, Op4 here. But they now have... Three, two guys left alive with Marvin pushing in towards the two others and he's just throwing that little grenade and that I think is going to be really really close Ooh. Marvin gets taken out Der Boinger gets taken out squad wipe for op four there just too much explosives from too many sides Do have dogs still alive and Indy's XR on target here, uh, but two guys cannot cap that flag. You need three guys more than the enemy on a captured flag to initiate a capture. And U.S. side now once again established control. So let's just have a quick rundown yet again of how the map sort of looks. U.S. side really well established on their front. Russians just defeated. Uh, they're attacking force, so both these flags are completely stable. Now, Op4 now once again respawning here, down on the south side, ready to attack Mod's Eye. Uh, that being Mod's Eye, and this being Malakabad. And what's okay. going on down here? U.S. force is actually pushing in quite deep. Indies. Not, not letting up here. And EUK 
actually struggling a bit. I think they've respawned all the way back at main. This should be UK unless it is... Oh, wow. My, my guy's on. My guy's down. That's actually Theo Third's BTR right there. Is that Rebrun's a hub? It is the 82A and it is on fire. I would recommend taking that back for repairs. That's 40 tickets. Oh, but here we go. They saw the striker. And having eyes on that striker. Like the 82A has no trouble taking out a striker. And there goes the striker. 155 to 228. So we are now at a, what's that, at 74 ticket advantage here for the Russians. Oh, and another striker here close. He needs to be super careful. That 82A just eats strikers for breakfast. And Indy's now happy with... Uh, Happy with how this went is going to push now on Malak or Modzai, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Did he get the second striker? It looks like he got the second striker. That is. Yep, yeah, that is bad. That is bad. That's gonna make it. Yeah, 124 now to. So now it's back at 100. 25 tickets or 30 I think for a striker maybe 35 can't remember exactly but it's it's a whole bunch of tickets right and every single individual is one ticket if one person dies that's one ticket so like if you lose a striker and let's say it's 35 tickets that is um, that's that's basically 35 guys right and I'd rather have 35 guys, generally, uh, as infantry moving around. So vehicles, you need to play it super duper safe if it's going to be worth it. Because as soon as you lose it, it's like a platoon of guys. Alright, so right now they're losing Malakabad, but Indy's now on their way in here. And I do not think the Russians are expecting them. They are looking the wrong way entirely and going to be completely completely surprised here by this indies force pushing in and only what's this four guys in and around flag maybe six if you count the extra two but right now russians are capturing uh malakabad which is the u.s side's flag here uh let's just zoom in slightly and the U.S. side are struggling ever so slightly, especially since we have a Mumblerine here on the Hab, slowing him down. Mumblerine is now dead. We're losing fob on Malakabad. Oh, but the fob on Malakabad is going down. Where is that FOB? Roger. Oh, it's up here. So we've got Pantan and Bon here on that FOB, taking it down, and it does not look. Does not look like that's gonna. Yep. Yeah, so here we go. Hasari is. Uh... God, I can't read those blue names. Oh, and they don't even see each other. Oh, he's gonna regret that. He didn't even get uh, the guy digging the fob, and he's gonna continue. That's Bon. Yeah, it needs to stop and bandage. Malakabad now completely undefended and the Hab completely surrounded. Malakabad is falling hard here. And that is good for the Russians. Now the FOB is unspawnable. Let's see what happened to this Indies assault. Oh, they actually made it in. And Russians are. Squad 2 losing the fob. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and the Russians really are trying to push in. Yeah, and they've squeezed them out pretty much, but they've left a huge opening here for uh, Op 4 and a few uh, Fighting Honey Badgers to push in. Uh, but there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 guys here. They really need to push in now. If they'd been slightly faster... We're gonna oh, Neb still uh, yeah, still on it here. Someone gonna spawn on Yeah, 
Malaka bod now. Nah, that's gonna be a problem. Like, they're not gonna have time to capture Modzai. That's the problem, right? Is anyone because uh, as soon as Malaka bod is captured, you can no longer capture. Basically, when the U.S. side lose their defense flag, their defense flag will become their offense flag. No, so no, 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 no. Modzai will no longer be capturable. And all the guys attacking that are basically just wasting their time and need to move north. And right now, the way this sits is the, the Russians are going to capture Malakabad in the north I'm gonna before the U.S. side is going to be able to capture Modzai in the south. There's just no way they're going to have time. And so these guys might might as well break off now and start moving north. But with 63 tickets left now for the U.S. side, uh, extending the ticket gap to about 140 tickets. Uh, this is going to make new fob on Malaka. That's going to be, yeah, and and also losing you lose a lot of tickets when you lose a flag, and they are definitely going to lose this flag. Hasaria now pushing in, but. It's going to be too little too late right now. And I think their best option is to push up to Chikar Kot. This has become a game of uh, lose as little as possible. And yep, yeah, Russians now captured Malakabad. Let's have a look at the tickets. 31 now. So if they lose one vehicle, they're done. If they lose 31 people... They're done. And this is a bunch of guys down already, and the Russians seem to be winning this engagement. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tickets just lying around here. Eight tickets. With two more maybe coming in. These guys need to break off and try and survive this. And let's have a look and see if anything fishy fishy is happening up by Chakar. And Chakar does have an active hab and all that goodness, but the hab isn't in the best of positions. Generally, the Russians come from the south and the hab is between sort of the attackers and where they want to go. And that's never where you want the hab to be. And Russians now coming in in force. Mumblerines uh, pushing in as well as a couple of division asterisk coming in here from the uh, southeast side. I think they're going to be spotted here, though, by Swansman. He's not looking the right way right now, but he should be soon. And it's one ticket left. Yeah, so this game is over even before we got that far. Uh, 204 tickets. Really, really nice game, though. Very, very even. It could have gone either way, really. And let's just... There's bound to be one guy down. And basically... Yeah, there we go. Hero. GG, well played. So a 202-ticket win to yeah, Mumblerines, asterisk, 303rd, and EUK on the Russian side. Uh, really, really well played, everyone. And... How did yep. your, uh, how US did Army uh, after that? lost really too nice much and, material uh, there nice and wide because open. even on kills and I mean they got that one flag captured but Soldiers get the yeah. ready. that's pretty much uh, at least 150 tickets of material they lost there alright so really well played GG for round one stick around for round two uh, bye bye